Okay, I spent most of the evening setting up my iMac, so I don't really have many videos today. Um, tripod slings. They're expensive and most of them suck. What if I told you you can make an awesome tripod sling that cinches under your own hand, which is awesome, which is exactly how this expensive Bogan tripod sling, yes, yeah, this is an old tripod from back in photography school, I bought this when I worked at the camera store. Look at that old head on that old Bogan tripod. Anyway, a strap like this, typically 30, 40 bucks. They don't actually make this uh, strap anymore, but they make kind of ones like it. So, let's take a look at this. Two dollars, make it yourself in five minutes or less. Cut it to the appropriate length. This is nothing other than nylon webbing. And my God, nylon webbing is really cheap. Now what you do is on either end, you use one of these keychains, keychains. You know what a keychain ring is, of course. Now you uh, double it over there like this. You stick in a rivet. You can actually get these at Home Depot. They actually screw in. One's a female and the other one's a male. You just kind of use a knife and poke a hole through the nylon uh, ribbing. You screw it in. You can put a drop of super glue in there so uh, it doesn't unscrew. So these little rivets don't require any machinery. They just screw together with a flathead screwdriver. And like I said, to permanently lock them in, you just put a drop of super glue. So. That is the exact same thing on the other end. So, how do you cinch it with your tripod? You take the loop, you pull it through like this, you bring it over here, the base, this will work on any tripod. Self cinches too. You do the same thing to the other side, you see that? You pull the loop through, and that gives you a cinching loop. And you take this up here, fits absolutely any tripod. Get to the side where you just want to cinch it at. Da, da, da. Here we go. Look at this. The more pressure you put on it, the tighter it cinches it. You don't even have to put any pressure on it at all. Look. Two dollars. Versus 30, 40 bucks for something like this. And they don't actually make a good one like that anymore. That one's not made anymore. Look at this. Two bucks. Very lightweight. Very cheap. Very awesome. You nailed it. And by you, I mean, I mean me. So, <laughs> thank you for watching. And uh, like I said, when you uh, want to come to your spot, it's easy to uncinch this. Like I said, it doesn't weigh anything. It doesn't weigh anything. It doesn't cost anything to make. You make it in five minutes. If it's your first one, it might take you ten minutes to make it. But these rivets, uh, they cost like 25 cents at the hardware store. They might cost a buck now. I've got a whole bunch of these rivets. And like I said, you just make a loop at the end, remember? Because the loop will pull out once you do that. So you just take it, pull it through itself, and that makes a loop, which cinches like this. This is all good uh, S&M bondage gear, too. So if you're into S&M, this will work. <laughs> uh, whatever. Anyway, if you like this video, drop me a buck or two. And tell me to jump off a cliff. Whatever makes you hot, happy. But you got to admit, this mod is awesome. And I thought of it, and nobody else did. But now you can make it, and you could enjoy it. Two bucks. Doesn't weigh anything. Bam! Nailed it. Nailed it. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.